Okay, so this is going to be um, the part two, and this is going to be how Paul viewed Nicola in the relationship. So his view of her in their relationship. Okay. Oh, too much. Put all these back in. That's too many. Okay. So we have these two. Okay. And it says baby making, pregnancy, let's get it on, soulful sex, reproducing offspring, Nick Cannon style, motherhood or fatherhood, in the mood, ready for children, unexpected blessings. And then you have a hookup, a one time or occasional thing, out of town boo. There is, there are two there to comfort you when you need, not yours, a cheap thrill, only contacts you at their convenience. So this is somebody who you got pregnant and this is somebody that you really um, don't have no real love for because it's like it's, they're there for your convenience, but you have a baby with them. Okay, that's how that's reading. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, so let's look at this. So we have here the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords here, this is somebody who's ready to take off. Okay, they, they're quick to move without thinking sometimes. And they probably would run away a lot because then, because it looked like they're running away from something. But then I have the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. And this is somebody who loves they're running away because it's too much work for them. Like, this is a lot of work. Um, I got to do too much. And I feel like, you know, I need to get away from this. So this is somebody who probably would say certain things. They might, you might get into an argument so they can leave. So they might argue with you because they don't want to be there at that moment. Because now you, you being too difficult. Now I don't want to be here. You being too difficult. And I feel like, you know, you, you got me here and I don't really want to be here right now. Because here the eight of swords is saying somebody who, who feels like they're being held back, trapped, but they're not. They can leave anytime they want to. But that's how they see it. Like I'm being trapped here. You trapped me. So. Then we have the page of swords. There's a lot of mind stuff going on with him, mental, because there's a lot of swords here. But 
Then you have the page of swords. So this is somebody who may not know how to talk to you right. You got the page of swords and the knight of swords. So somebody quick to act, but they don't know how to talk to you sometimes. Like they talk reckless to you. And they may say some hurtful things. And then here with the four of swords, we have that as them taking a step back. She taking a step back. Every time it's hard, now you want to take a break. It's getting too difficult for me. I want to take a break. Okay. But then I don't want to let go. I don't want to leave. I just want to take a break. Because I feel like I may lose something if I leave. Like you're there for a reason, but what is the reason? Because it seems like every time things get hard, you want to take a break. You need to, I need some time for myself. It's, it's too difficult. So because you have this type of mindset towards her, it's like, you know, we got a baby together, you know, um, you here for me. I'm not here for you type of attitude. So of course, when things get difficult, you're not going to want to stick around. You're going to want to leave every time things get hard. And you might want to argue and run away every time things get hard. She may ask, oh, I don't want to do that. So now I'm going to start an argument because now it's difficult for me. Too much work. You're asking too much. Okay. Knight of Swords. There's that again. Like I said, that is either somebody being stressed mentally or there's another person being involved causing you stress. So it could be another person in the picture. That's why you always want to run away. So you can go over there. Because we got out of town boo over here. So you got somebody on the outside. So now, oh, you causing me to be stressed out. Now I want to leave. Because now I feel like you're trying to trap me here. I feel like you're trying to hold me back. Blah, blah, all of that. So now I want to run away. I don't want to be here. You're causing me pain, stress. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so now we have the Knight of Pentacles here with the Eight of Pentacles. So, like I said, the Eight of Pentacles is someone who feels like they're working, they putting in work, okay? You're working hard. But here you're slowly working your way towards something. Or walking, working towards something. You're trying to work towards something. But you don't want to work too hard here. It's like you want something, but you don't want to have to put too much effort into it. Okay, that's why you don't want to leave because this came out in her spread. So this, you're working towards this. She got money. That's why you don't want to leave because you're working towards this. But you don't like, like I said, you don't want to put too much effort in because you don't really care like that. But since I'm here, you got some money, you, you kind of stable, you know, you're financially secure. You know, we don't have to worry about certain things. You know, I know. So I'm slowly working my way towards that with you. That's why I'm not leaving. Page of Swords. Okay, so that's the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands here with the Page of Swords, just letting me know this is communication, but it's also traveling, moving. So like I said, you may try to get slick off at the mouth, may try to cause an argument, 
saying things you may um you may be on the internet talking you know phone calls text messages whatever whatever you're doing you you're moving around okay this is moving forward so like i said when you get into um a situation here you may start an argument you may not know how to talk right and then you may be start getting on the internet getting on the phone calling other people here and then you're doing that because you want to leave anyway. You want to go out anyway. So you're just going to start an argument so you can go. See? Now you need to take a break because now you want to go somewhere else and give somebody else some love. Got some offers. You on there giving out love offers. Because you already see that here. And there's the Eight of Swords right there again. So, like I said, this is you trying to hold on to something or you feel like you're going to lose. Lack of stability, lack of security. So you feeling like, oh, I'm trapped here because I'm not financially stable. She is, but I'm working toward it's so with this lack mindset, you feel like you're missing out on something. And you but you can leave at any time, but you don't want to. Okay. So you stay, even though you don't really want to be there because of the financial part of it, the security of it. Okay, I'm I'm stable here. I'm secure here. I don't have to worry about where I'm going to live, where I'm going to eat, where I'm going to drive, all of that stuff. So, but at the same time, you don't want to leave. Because here, like I said, you you got a baby here. Um, but it's an unexpected blessing. I don't know if they planned their kids or not, but the first one or not, but they got kids. But then over here, you got uh, um, somebody else that you got out on the side. Or you look at, and then you looking at her as um, there to comfort you when you need. So when I feel like I need to be, I want to be with you, then I'll be with you. But I got something else on the side too. So when they get into their little rift, then here you go calling somebody else asking, okay, hey, can I come over? Over there, you know, things not going good over here. So that's his. Now I'm going to do Emma. But when I do Emma, I'm going to do Emma as how she's looking at Nicola and how she's looking at Paul. So I have to do two for her um, because I want to see, like they said, Emma and Paul may be together. So I want to see how she's looking at Nicola. And her relationship with Paul, and then how she's looking at Paul in his relationship with with Nicola, and how she, what role she's playing in that. So I'm going to come back and do her um, next, and I might have to do hers separate too, because like I said, I don't want them to be long. Because you see, it takes me a long time to shuffle with these cards, which is why I don't like to shuffle on the and record it on camera. Okay, so I'm gonna come back with Emma. <laughs> 